I'm Clara with Acreworks. I've been with Acreworks a little over six years, but when I started working here, I didn't know anything about spinning or knitting or that people even did that anymore. But in order to make a good product, I needed to learn how. And I started with a drop spindle. I'm gonna show you our Acreworks drop spindle starter kit, uh, and that's how I learned. So in our kit, we have our modular adjustable spindle system. And this has one 12 inch shaft and two 10 inch spindle shafts. So the 12 inch will be for plying later on. And then we're gonna spin on singles, which is just one strand of yarn on each of the 10 inch. Now I also have our medium geranium spindle whirl and that's in slate gray. We make a trillium, a geranium, and a lotus in small, medium, and large. And then we have 17 different colors of each. So there's lots of options, but we feel like to start out, the medium geranium is a really good beginner weight. So that's what we're gonna start with. All right, what else is in our kit? We have our Tensi Tamers. We have four Tensi Tamers. That'll also be used for plying later on. And then we have our fiber. So we have two balls of two ounce fiber. We have some off-white, we have some gray. So that's four ounces. That should be enough to make us a little yarn, hopefully to make a hat. And then we have our box. We gotta keep our box because we're gonna also use it for plying. So now we're gonna learn to spin. We talked about what was in our starter kit, and now we're gonna talk a little bit about fiber. So right here, I have a length of fiber, which is in a braid, they call that roving. And it's about a three to four inch staple length. So what that means is that each individual hair in this particular fiber is about three to four inches long. Now that's important when we have a longer staple length, it's easier to twist it together into a strand or what we call a single. And the other thing that is important about staple length is that when we are drafting or pulling apart and loosening our fiber, if we're holding our hands closer than three to four inches, it's not gonna pull apart because you're holding all of the hairs. But if I move my hands further apart, then it pulls apart easily. When we're pulling it apart and loosening it, that is called drafting. Now, that's just letting the hairs loosen up enough to be twisted into that single. Now I'm doing something called pre-drafting, which is essentially just loosening up a long strip of roving so that I can twist it into my single more easily without having to work on it while I'm spinning. When I first started spinning, I did this a lot. I would have lots of strips of, of fiber laid out and pick it up as I went. The beautiful thing about hand spun yarn is that it's not consistent. When we spin, we get bigger pieces and littler pieces, and that's what gives hand spun yarn that character. The, what I recommend is starting out with just a little bit and your tenant shaft and your whirl and seeing if you can get the hang of it before we try and conquer the whole four ounces and make it into yarn. But so you've got two ounces of the white and two ounces of the gray and we'll make two singles as we spin all that together. And when we spin those two together, that's called plying. I'm gonna show you an example of what plied yarn looks like. So let's assemble our first spindle. Take one of the 10 inch shafts, we remove our hook tector. And I'm going to show you the top whirl position because that's how I spin. I'm gonna put it over the hook. I'm gonna try and be a little careful around the hook. But the wonderful thing about our hooks is that they're very bendable and I can bend it back into shape if I get it a little out of whack. I'll leave a little, you know, a less than an inch sticking out of the top. That's how you assemble it in the top whirl position. For the bottom whirl position, I just sort of twist the shaft and scoot the whirl off. 
and then I flip it over and I do the same thing on the bottom, a little twist and push, and I've got a bottom whirl and I build my fiber up this way. So now we're going to start spinning. All right, now that we've got our spindle assembled, we're going to start and we're starting today with a leader. So a leader is simply a piece of string that's tied at the end that's going to help us get started. I'm going to loop it onto my shaft. I'm going to do that twice just for a little added security. And I'm going to take the string and put it through the hook. Then I'm going to grab some of my pre-drafted fiber here and I'm going to stick that through the string. So I've sort of folded it over on itself. Now I'm going to spin away from me. Direction is important when we're plying because we've got to make the twists twist together. It doesn't really matter which direction you go, but when we're doing the singles, we got to spin them both in the same way because we go opposite when we're plying, but we'll get to that. So I'm just spinning and letting the twist climb on up the fiber. I'm going to stop it and I'm actually going to stop it up under my arm this time. That's called parking. You can park anyway, whether it's laying against your body, setting it down between your thighs. I'm going to put it under my arm. So that gives me an opportunity to hold my twist here and spread this apart a little more. Do a little more drafting before I let the twist climb on up there. Now, especially when I'm starting, I like to get it extra twisty so it stays together. Now I'm going to unhook it from the hook. I'm going to put my finger on this piece of string to kind of keep it from slipping around the shaft as I get it started. Now that I've got it started around the shaft, I'm going to twist it up. And now the fiber is going to be on the shaft just like that. And I start again. Now sometimes it'll start untwisting a little bit. That's no big deal. You're not ever going to be able to have it spin the wrong direction further than spinning it in the correct direction or the direction you choose, not that one is right or wrong. All right, so that is how you start with a leader. I'm also going to show you how to start it straight from the fiber, which is how I learn. So I'm going to just pop this whirl off and move it to a different shaft over here. Putting that one together. I'm going to grab some pre-drafted fiber here and I'm going to just hook the hook onto the fiber, fold it over just like I did in the other one. I'm twisting again away from me, park it, park it. Okay, I'm going to do some pre-drafting where I pinch so that the twist doesn't go all the way up into that fiber and then let it climb slowly. Let that twist whoop, climb on up there. I'm going to give it another good twist. I like to do this until I got maybe five or six inches and then another twist for good measure, especially at the beginning. All right, this is the most challenging part. I'm going to pinch that piece of fiber and then get it off the hook. So I've got my single just between my two fingers and then I'm going to keep pressure on it so it doesn't unwind and just start twisting it around that shaft. Once I got it started, oh, there we go. Now I'm going to hook that fiber again around the hook. I usually give it two twists around the hook just to make sure it doesn't come untwisted. And I'm going to spin again, let it climb up. Oh, look at that big old blob in there. It's going to turn out so pretty when you've got that texture. So essentially I just spin, draft, can park it, let that twist get up there, spin, draft. I'm gonna unhook it again, wrap it around again. Until I get my shaft filled with fiber. Mm 
now I have what you call whoop, a cop. That's what we call a full shaft full of yarn. So, or singles rather. So I'm spinning away from me. It's important to remember that I'm gonna spin away from me with both singles. And then when I ply, I'll ply towards me. Now, if you prefer spinning towards you for both singles, you just have to remember to do it away from you when you're plying. So, ta-da!